Welcome to the Cuckmere Accessible Audio Trail at Seven Sisters Country Park. This trail follows the Cuckmere Miles Without Styles route along flat concrete, gravel and grass paths. You will find plaques in the right-hand corner of the back of selected benches, which have QR codes or near-field connectivity chips that most modern devices, such as your mobile phone, can read. Scan the plaques with your device to take a moment with nature and surround yourself with the flora, fauna and seasonal changes found in this special landscape. This is the first bench in the audio trail. As you sit on this bench facing south, on a sunny day, you may feel the warmth of the sun on your face. In the distance, you may be able to hear the call of seabirds drifting on the thermals along the coastline, which is around one and a half miles from where you are sat. Take a moment to breathe in the fresh air, tune in to the sounds that surround you, and consider the wonders we may find within this landscape. Behind you is a road that bends steeply to the right, travelling west along the coast, and you may notice the sound of buses from the east breaking as they stop to let visitors alight and embark. The sounds of voices from the visitor centre drift across the road, and you may notice the tick of cycle spokes and the click of dog paws on the concrete path. To your right, from a tree on the opposite side of the road, you can occasionally make out the loud call of a tiny bird, the wren. Its call is easily distinguished by a merry trill at the end of it. In front of you, in the colder months, the hawthorn is knotted and knitted with lichen and moss. Its branches are dark against the grey and blue skies of the winter landscape. Brambles still grow in a tangle of undergrowth, providing cover for small animals. In the spring, the bright white froth of hawthorn flowers will cover these shrubs, and dotted within them are the pastel colours of bramble flowers and the larger pink dog rose blooms. In the autumn months, there are purple blackberry fruit on the brambles, deep red hawberries on the hawthorn, and distinctive oval rose hips on the dog rose, all providing a feast for wildlife. Stretching out behind the scrub and across the shimmering waters that make up the meanders, there is a patchwork of farmed fields just beyond the country park. The ridges are scattered with trees. In the summer, they are dark green pom-poms against the sky. In the winter, the Canada geese gather here in noisy flocks, honking and bickering. Above you, on a clear day, the hum of light aircraft looping the loop can sometimes be heard. Kestrels, with their distinctive beige belly, are regular visitors here, and they hover on the breeze, 10 or 20 metres above the grassland, searching for voles and mice. Higher still are the large mottled brown mewing buzzards that circle higher and higher on the thermals. A magpie, with its iridescent black-blue wingtips, cackles, and the crows call back. As you travel along the trail, you will find a variety of habitats, to your left you will find wide expanses of chalk grassland. To the right is salt marsh, which during the winter is often under water. Parallel to the concrete path are the winding meanders, which were once part of the Cuckmere River. Continue on and you will eventually reach a vegetated shingle beach. This trail will explore all these habitats, some of them rare, and the flora and fauna within them, the changing seasons, and even some of the park's nocturnal visitors. To listen to Bench 2, make your way along the trail approximately one-third of a mile or half a kilometre to Cormorant Corner. On your way, you may notice the cattle that graze here. In the summer, they are on your right on the wet grassland and marsh, and in the winter, they are on the higher ground to your left, providing vital maintenance for the chalk grassland. As you walk, Look out for the clematis that wraps itself around the brambles. This plant is also known as Old Man's Beard due to the fluffy, straggly grey seed heads that it produces in the autumn. As you pass the sandbank in the spring and summer, see if you can notice the gentle hum of the burrowing bees that make this place their home. When you reach bench two of the trail, scan the QR or NFC codes to explore the habitats surrounding the meanders.